it, girl. All right, guys. So um, we're working with this little girl here. <coughs> now, one issue that we see a lot. Um, we love getting little dogs in here because a lot of folks don't train little dogs. You know, they just kind of let the little dog hang out in the house and and things like that. But uh, you know, don't don't spend a lot of time training, and it's dangerous. You know, you get a dog that you know that doesn't come when called. You get a dog that uh, you know isn't listening, and, and that can be especially dangerous for any dog, but especially for little guys. You know, because a little guy like this gets out in the street, and it's easy for them to get hit or. Girl. Hit by anything, a bike or a car or anything. And so, or easier to get lost, or easier to become prey to another animal, things like that. So we're out here working on the recall. Now, this is again, you know, one of the one of the reasons that we teach the e-collar with a lot of dogs, even little dogs, um, and that we emphasize that the e-collar is not about, you know, dealing with a difficult dog or dealing with like a tough or a strong or aggressive dog. It's about off-leash communication. It's about communication where we don't need the leash because dogs are such physical creatures. Now what we're doing with this little girl is we're actually using the vibration. Um, and uh, well, we're using vibration and a little bit of stimulation. So what we're doing is, you know, before to kind of get her attention, just kind of hitting a little vibration. And all it does is vibrate the collar, kind of like a cell phone. Um, and asking her to come. And if she doesn't, then we're using the stimulation on the e-collar. Now, we're, we're using the vibration um, because she's sensitive and we want something that's just enough to kind of grab attention um, you know just enough to kind of be something different so that she's like oh okay what's this so you're having a hard time getting her to leave your side now aren't you said. let me see if I can be a distraction hi pretty girl hi 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 Girl, Did you use vibration that time? I did, and I gave her the chance, yeah. and she did it. So yeah, we've been working on the e-collar recall with her quite a bit, and so she's doing well. Hey, Maggie, boy's a pretty girl. <laughs> she's smart. <laughs> she's like, you keep calling me. What's the point in uh, what's the point in even leaving your side? Um, let's see if we can get a few more repetitions in here. Maggie, what do you call her? And, and I'll kind of think. Maggie, I'm pretty girl. Hi, hi, hi. You can eat some snow. You can eat some snow. Okay, it's going. Maggie, come. Come. Yay, come. Come, come, come. So I wanted to highlight that. Good, right there. If nothing else for this video, that's that's kind of what I wanted to show. So Sarah gave her a free command. And she was like, no, snow tastes good. I'm gonna eat the snow instead of come when called. And so on the second one, she gave just a little bit of a correction. Um, yeah. You can tell from the dog's yeah. response, she just kind of looked around like, oh, oh yeah, I know I'm supposed to come with that. And so it wasn't about like this life-shattering big old correction that a lot of people think electric collars are. It was more about just a call to attention. What level do we work her on? Five. Five, yeah. So five is like nothing. Um, but like I said, it allows us to communicate off-leash. And so next stage with her is to go completely off-leash. Do you think she's ready for that or that next session? So when we first go off leash, okay. we usually want to do really short, tight recalls. We don't want the dog getting too far. So we'll do two, three feet recall, three, four feet recall, two, three feet recall, five hey. feet recall. Um. Jeez, that snow. <laughs> Yay. But yeah, so like I said, it allows us, you know, with the e-collar, it allows us to get to this really great off-leash recall. Yay! Um, so much faster and more complete. A dog like this, she's a cool dog, but she's kind of mischievous. A dog like this, if all you ever used was like treats or something, she'd be like, oh, I like treats, but I'm gonna go chase off after that snow bunny over there. She's getting some nice snow in her beard. I know, she's so excited. Cool. So yeah, so like I say, the, the e-collar is not for, not for big punishments. The e-collar is for off-leash communication. It works great with little dogs, works great with big dogs.